What's up everybody? David Butler from SketchButler.com and this is Sketch Blog. I put together a video of, of 10 tips and tricks that I usually let young black artists know uh, when I get that question. So I hope you like it. Here we go. Top 10. Number one, stop drawing magazine photos and internet photos of your favorite celebrities. I know you love Beyonce. I know you love Tupac. I know you love Biggie. But you don't have to draw the exact covers that they did for Rolling Stone. You have to use reference photos as reference. Let them be that. Number two, take criticism. The big part about being an artist is being able to dialogue with other creative minds and sometimes not even creative minds to get an opinion on how well the composition is working, how well the painting's working. Number three, know your history. We do have one. So make sure that you research a lot about your history. If you're a young black artist and you do not know any black painters from the past, you're doing yourself a disservice. Four, research black artists who are successful in your eyes. Even if the person that is doing charcoal drawings on the boardwalk is your idea of a success story, talk to him. Talk to him, see what he's doing. Uh, see how he's made his career. See how he makes his money. How does he run his business? Um, that is definitely something that we tend not to do as young black artists. There are young black artists and older black artists who are still working today. People from your Renford, Renford Remberts who has a new documentary out. You got Kara Walker, you got Carrie James Marshall, Trenton Doyle Hancock, Kehinde Wiley, all these people who are making a name for themselves in the contemporary art scene that not a lot of people know about within our community. Five, invest in your craft. If you're a painter, buy some decent paints. I know it's really tough times right now and a lot of people don't have a lot of money to spend. Find a midline, affordable uh, art supply that works with your craft. Number six, stop thinking about selling your work and start thinking about showing your work. There's a, a lot of misconceptions within our community that the idea of being an artist is being able to make money strictly off the fact that you are a painter, strictly off the fact that you are a sculptor. That is true. It would be great for everybody in the world that wanted to do something creative to be able to do what they do full time. But I'll let you in on something. It's usually only about a 10 to 15 percentile of people in the world that are creative making money off of their craft alone. Even the ones that you think are majorly successful Usually the top painters in the world are still teaching somewhere to make the ends meet and make sure that they're funding their studio space and make sure they're funding all the supplies that they're getting. So don't fret if you aren't selling your work. Make sure that people are seeing your work and stop worrying about selling. Selling will come later. Number seven. Frustration is part of the process, so make sure that you are struggling with your work. Um, if you're not struggling with it, you're probably not pushing yourself as hard as you should be to get where you need to be as an artist. You feel like you're doing the same thing over and over again, try something that's outside your box. Number eight, don't fear yourself. Put more you into your work. That's definitely something that you should be doing. Stop trying to be like everybody else. Try to be more original. Nine, define yourself as an artist. It definitely helps you if you are a painter. Be a painter. If you are a sculptor, be a sculptor. If you draw, draw. Draw everything. If you are a comic artist, draw comics. Be more specific even in that. If you're a comic artist, are you a penciler? Are you an inker? Do you color? Are you doing the, uh, you doing the lettering for comics? There's always something you can do to make yourself more specific within your field. Number 10, the most important thing I can tell young black artists in the world is never stop creating something as small as doodling on a napkin every day or making sure that you're keeping a small sketchbook to think to uh, to ponder ideas try doing something creative every single day to keep your juices flowing constantly keep your mind moving constantly keep yourself pushing to be a better artist
Sketch B-Log TV. I'm David Butler. I'm out. Peace.